Well, the 16th annual Chef Spot Luck fundraiser is bringing local chefs and bakers who've been matched with local farmers, fishermen, and ranchers to showcase fresh local ingredients to locals right here in the Low Country. To talk about the Chef Spot Luck is Jordan Amaker, the Director of Ad Advocacy and Communications for Low Country Local First, and Rachel Blumenstock, the Chef de Cuisine for Crew Cafe. Did I say that right? That is correct. Thank you both for being here with us. Thanks for having us. Tell us a little bit about the event that's coming up. We're excited to be in our 16th year of hosting the Chef's Potluck, which is a fundraiser for our nonprofit organization. It's for Low Country Local First, which year-round advocates for the local small businesses across the Low Country. And it's a chance for us to both celebrate the ingredients found across our region, but also connect the chef community with the farming community to really build those relationships that go beyond the event. Now, that many cooks in one place at one time, there's bound, bound to be some competition there. Do you guys get really competitive? I mean, I don't know about anybody else, but I like to judge and see whose food is really good and whose food really isn't. Um, but it's all about having fun and like definitely helping out the community and getting in touch with your local farmers and everything like that and seeing what other chefs do with their produce and locally sourced products. I'm curious, how did this idea come about? It began really out of the need 16, 17 years ago to see more chefs source local. I think you're seeing a lot of that more now, which is great. The trend is here to stay, hopefully. Uh, but we continue to see different farmers come uh, up in the region, uh, certainly lots of new chefs coming into the region. So I think there's still a need to make sure those, those relationships are there, that the chef community knows what ingredients can be found here and who's providing them. Now, Jordan talked to us. We like to say buy local, buy fresh. Um, but is there a difference to how the food tastes and how much of a difference does it really make to the economy? The overall stat when you buy local is that three times more of your dollar will stay in the community when you do so than if you were to buy it from a national chain. Uh, a lot of studies have done have proven that. Um, so when you buy from a local farmer or purveyor, you know that they're going to turn around and give their dollars back to a local accounting firm or a marketing firm or you know, pay someone local to help with their landscaping, whatever it might be, they're gonna pass that dollar back to someone in this community. And taste-wise, you can't beat it. You really can't beat it. It also depends on the region, like local food grows better, you know, like for certain ingredients and stuff like that. Like we're known for our tomatoes and our cucumbers and stuff like that. And our peaches are really excellent right now. So if you buy local for those specific products, they're gonna be far more superior than if you buy them somewhere else. I hope we've whet your appetite and that you're thinking about coming out to this event. Tell us about ticket prices and how they can go about getting those tickets. Tickets, uh, come back to support our organization. Right now, uh, they're about $100 per person. Uh, kids 12 and under are free. We'll have a whole kids area there thanks to Kids Garden. And it's all inclusive. So once you're there, you can eat as much as you'd like. You can imbibe as much as you'd like. We have a couple of local bands who'll be performing. And it's right there on the marsh up at Holy City Brewery. So all right. views are free. <laughs> Thank you, ladies, for being here with us. And again, the 2024 Chef's Potluck will be Sunday, June 2nd from 4 to 7 at the Porter Room at the Holy City Brewery. That's in North Charleston. And make sure you get out there and try some of the best local foods that the Lowcountry has to offer. Stick around. We'll be right back.